So I'm gonna work on his leave it command. I have a whole bucket of treats here. I'm gonna put it right on the center of that floor right there. Um, so there's a big value in this. Um, but the purpose of using the bucket is also to hopefully try and avoid him actually able to get the treat unless he knocks this over. Um, but I'm not gonna walk him close enough where that's gonna happen. Okay, so I'm gonna just put it down and I'm gonna take him out of the crate. Okay, so let's see. We'll put this here in the center of the floor. And we'll get him out of the crates here. He's on a slip leash. He's not on a harness. You have more control over a dog who is on a slip leash than a harness. You can't control the dog's mind if a harness is on him. Leave it. Yes. I already started it right there. He started to go towards it. I just held my ground. He's not going. Ready? So about three and a half feet away from uh, the bowl away. That was good. About three and a half feet away, I'm gonna stay leave it. Ready? Let's go. Leave it. Yes. So as when he looked at it, that's where I say yes. Let's go. No. Go ahead. So we went on a P-L-A-C-E. That's not what I said. I told him to let's go. So I said no and corrected him and got him off of P-L-A-C-E. Let's go. Leave it. Yes. No. Good. So you messed up. 
I told him no. But I'm just telling him good. Because then he did listen. I did leash correct him. You saw the leash bob. So I told him no as I leash bobbed it. But then I told him good. So this jumping right here, I'm not working on jumping. When I work on jumping, I'm doing it by itself. We're working on the leave it command. Let's go. Leave it. Yes, good job. Good boys. Let's go. Leave it. Yes. Good boys. Oh. Let's go. Leave it. Yes. Nicely done, bud. Give space. If the dog is easily getting at it, you're too close. If you have to, make a wide circle around it. Don't go so close. Don't be trying to push it too quickly. Now, let's see if we can do this. Sit. No. Sit. Good. Yes. So the reason why I said yes, no. No. Good. You messed up. You got up. Yes. No. Sit. Good. Yes. I'm moving. Me moving around is a distraction. Free. Oh boy. Now we have this. Sit. Yes. So me bouncing the ball is gonna be a huge distraction to him. So I'm gonna start right here. Yes, just holding it. He gets a reward. No. That's it. Good, you messed up. Yes. Do something that you know that the dog is gonna be successful at. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. That was a very good one. I'm giving a lot of treats for that one. Yes. Good boys. Because that thing rolled. He could have chased after it. Free. Oh, you got up. Sit. No. Good. Free. So he got up prematurely before I said free. I'm just going to put him back in the sit. Tell him good. Tell him free. He got up prematurely. We don't allow that. He's got to hear. He's got to hear that free word. So, the tennis ball is on the floor. I can't see if that's in the frame or not, but I'm gonna see if we can walk past it. Let's go. And I'm gonna tell him to leave it alone. Leave it. Yes. Good job, buddy. Leave it. Yes. Good job. Leave it, yes. Leave it, yes. Oh boy. He's not physically going for it. He's looking at it. Technically, there's really nothing wrong with looking at something. But when you have a dog who is, uh, who's a resource guarder, in this case, to me, if you don't look at it. Okay, so um, until something changes where he is much better with the resource guard. Um, but for right now, if he looks at the food, I'm going to tell him to leave it. Even if he looks at it. But normally, if the dog doesn't have resource guarding issues, I don't care if they look at it. Just don't go for it. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Yes, you did. You did such a great job. Yeah. You did. Yeah, good boy. You should love Yeah. You ready? Come on. Let's go. Go crazy. Yes. Good boy. Oh, that's such a great job. You did your leash off here first. Yeah. Thank you.
I know.